So since I was a kid, I've always wanted a home theater back uh, way back when. Um, we threw some sheets up and uh, had a projector screen that pulled down um, in my parents' basement. We had all the friends. We had 20, 30 people over there watching uh, scary movies and stuff on this um, pull-down projector screen with blackout curtains all the way around. Um, um, so when I got a little bit older, I, I definitely said that I wanted to, um, without a doubt, build my own home theater in my uh, house whenever we got it, and of course with my kids and everything else and um, we've really enjoyed it we've used it pretty much every night since we built it now of course it's under construction and there's still a lot of things that need to be done and um, that I'm not quite happy with yet but I just wanted to kind of show you the progress of um, where I'm at right now in it and kind of some of the stuff and the specs that we've got going on in this room um, so as you can see as I'm kind of walking around uh, here's a few of the things that we've got um, so behind me you can see the 135 inch um, elite screen it is got the chrome pixels in it so it's a little bit darker um, for contrast uh, you can see all my my posters that I've got so some of my favorite movies um, and if you've not seen any of them I encourage you to do so I actually ordered them off movieposters.com uh, um, it was one of the best prices and honestly probably one of the highest quality movie posters I've got um, so I'll just kind of show you around a little bit and show you kind of uh, what I've got going on here and uh, what I've done so far. So I'll play a little bit of the audio and stuff here in a second um, and show you all. So here underneath the baseboard, I've got a LED light strip that's 100 foot and it spans the entire distance of the room. Um, it goes underneath my shelf back in the back. There's my kids' juices. Um, I've got one under each shelf. Um, some of the movies. If any of you movie junkies are out here, you're going to kill me for this, but this was my wife's um, idea. See that box there? It's probably got over 150 movies in it. Um, she took all of my movies out of my case one day, out of the cases one day, and uh, put it in their uh, movie case. Um, it about killed me because you know how much it means to have the uh, case hooked in. So I do have a 12-inch a riser back here in the back. That's what we lifted up the back row with. It is power recliners and power um, headrest with the center console that comes down. Uh, here's a little bit on the screen that you can see. It's not as great with the lights up, which given it wasn't meant to be. So I do have Polk Audio Towers in the front. Um, again, you can see some of the covers and stuff I still have to put on and hide some of the wires. Polk Audio Center, Polk Audio Sub, it's 10 inch subs. I've got one in the front and one in the back. Um, all the lights are on a dimmer. Uh, there's actually one across the room behind the Braveheart poster just in case I ever get lazy and don't want to get up. It's on a dimmer. Um, they do completely go out if I need to. Um, my HVAC unit was actually in this room, so what I did was I actually build a wall. Um, I put some soundproofing in it um, and run the lights inside so I could actually see if I need to. But there's my HVAC and my kids' movie trays. Um, in the back, I put a tripod jamos. Um, I really, really like these. I'm actually going to get another set and put them on the wall uh, right here in between the Braveheart and the Joker poster and the Jurassic World and the uh, Fast and Furious poster. Um, it just is a uh, out of phase speaker and it has great sound and it's actually fantastic to have it about your level right behind you. Um, in the ceiling I do have um, four or sorry two uh, Nile in, in series speakers um, in the ceiling. I don't think I need four in this room. I put them centered between the two couches. Uh, I think it adds enough effect. Um, most movies anyways doesn't have the quality of sound that you need that much above. Um, so I'm happy with that. Here's a little snack bar that we've got. Popcorn. Um, I do have that mini fridge there below it. 
there's my other sub I need to hide that uh, surge protector um, so back here in the back I've got a Denon it is a 9.2.2 receiver um, so that will handle the two speakers that I'm gonna put on the side it's an Epson uh, home cinema power light 8350 it's unanimous with the uh, 8370 also so on the ceiling what I did was I put a drop ceiling in and I put black so it does add and uh, the ceiling is a matte finish I know it adds a little bit of a shine to it and the walls are eggshell uh, it is just a pure pure black um, theater so what I'll do now is I'll cut the lights off and I'll back up into the uh, seat here where I normally would see it and just kind of to show you what the effect is with the sound and everything so let's go back here and set this up so you can see how the uh, floor lights light up the room plenty enough to see and then you've got the stuff back here in the back that gives us plenty of light probably doesn't do it justice on the sound on this uh, camera that I've got but uh, it's just absolutely incredible like whenever that spaceship come through you can hear it all the way around you completely in the back um, I tried my best to use all the calculators that I could online um, and get rid of that uh, they call it the exit door effect but it's the uh, the effect where you just can actually tell where the sounds coming from so I tried to get rid of every bit of that if I could um, with these speakers and that's why I wanted the out of phase so it bounced around now it's not ideal the way it's set up, but it's works really good for me. I mean, if it was perfect, I wouldn't have had one of these speakers so close to the wall. Um, but you can hear everything, every sound, everything from the the ceiling coming down. And the only thing that I really wish I could have found that I liked was a actual um, cinematic screen. So you see where the black bars are across the top and the bottom. I wish I would have found a screen that was a true cinematic uh, screen that did not have that space because most movies that I watch, I don't watch a whole lot of TV um, on this. You know, we have TVs upstairs and in the den. Um, but this uh, this is definitely for movies, so I wish I could have got rid of that. And I've thought about maybe um, building up some false walls or something um, in front of them just to leave that cinematic screen, that longer screen um, there so it doesn't have those black black bars but to the average Joe like we are it doesn't really matter um, it doesn't really affect things um, something that I forgot to mention was the uh, carpet I'll show you kind of what I used here so on the carpet it is a uh, carpet square carpet tile uh, somewhere so right there you can kind of see the seam it uh, is actually probably one of my favorite things I've ever put down uh, you can almost not even tell that it's a carpet square unless I show the seam and it's really honestly like if I got rid of this you wouldn't even be able to tell the seam was really even there and um, a couple vacuums is unreal the difference um, the reason I done that was of course I've got kids so a, a four and a six year old in here with snacks um, I'm not going to uh, forego their treat of eating a snack while enjoying a movie um, I wanted something that I could uh, replace if need be and I wanted something that um, I could get rid of like a stain or anything that uh, might bother me coming down the road so that's kind of this room um, again I still have some outlets to put back in after I painted um, and I'll show you this bracket that I've got for the speaker again it isn't ideal but it's just a piece of an angle um, got it welded up at the top and the bottom and put it up for that speaker again right there's that part I was telling you about that if I could do it again I wouldn't have done that but I mean there's really no way of getting around it with the way I have this uh, room set up and the space that I've got um, some of my original Star Wars 
posters, and that's another one of these things. See, like my Star Wars is my favorite movie, but this Braveheart poster off that website, they've got original posters that you can order, and this is one of the uh, the original posters that was released back when Braveheart um, was released, and so I definitely jumped all over that as it was always one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. Uh, Interstellar, one of my favorite still. But uh, that's kind of the room, and that was kind of what I've got going on. I uh, put my all my remotes up at the door. Uh, that's a big help, especially with kids. I can teach them to uh, put the remotes back. But uh, that's kind of what I've got. And uh, if you got any questions or got any comments or anything, please just let me know, and I'll try to show you and help you through with um, some of the things that I've did and some of the things I'm going to do. Uh, I've got a, quite a bit of things that uh, if I can get permission from the wife, I still need to do. But uh, this is where it's at. I'm actually outside the door. I'm not done with it yet, so I won't show it to you, and I'll show it once I get done. But I'm actually going to put like a, uh arcade area and uh, home. It's more of a den, but it's for the boys because they you know, just can't operate this yet. But I want them to have their friends over and have a place to go. So outside that door, I'm actually going to put um, like a little home arcade uh, area for them, and they're going to have the game systems and pool tables and everything. So that's exciting. So stay tuned for that, and I'll I'll keep posting updates. Um, if you got any questions or anything, please feel free to uh, holler at me and let me know, and I'll try to answer anything I can. Thanks for watching.